everyone. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, do we have students in the classroom? Hi, Mayra. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Hi Mayra. I hope you're great. Welcome Hi. to the English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. Let's get this party started, all right? If the ones get into the classroom later, let's pray for it, okay? So we are officially in class 13. Oficialmente estamos en la clase número 13, all right? Keep on the good job. Continuamos con el buen trabajo, por favor. No dejemos de conectarnos. Que ya estemos en la clase 13, it doesn't mean that we don't need to get into the class, all right? No significa que solo voy a terminar la plataforma y ya no me voy a conectar. No, we need to get into the classroom, as always. So let's check. You might remember the last week we were practicing this vocabulary, okay? We were practicing a sports season in the U.S. and Canada. So let me listen to some of you. Voy a pedirle quizás solo a dos personas que me digan el vocabulary <coughs> para ver si recordamos cómo se pronunciaba, right? For, because from one day to another, we can easily forget. So let me start with Mayra, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Sport season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, tennis, play volleyball, go swimming, swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike reading. Go hiking. In All right, the... Mayra, repeat that for me. Go bike riding. Go bike riding. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, wash. Go ice, ice, shot. ice Go skating. Ice skating. Skiing. Go skiing. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Now, what did I mention about? ¿Qué mencioné yo la clase pasada sobre the acronyms US and USA? What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Between US and USA. The A. The A, exactly. If we don't have it, we don't pronounce it. Si no la tenemos, no la pronunciamos, right? De hecho, por eso muchas cosas que ustedes van a lograr ver eh, no tienen el A, porque we are all Americans, right? So some people get offended if you say states of America because it means that only they are part of it. So just keep that in mind, please. Let's go with the next one. Jancy de Oranes, tell me the vocabulary, please. Good evening, teacher. Sport season in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go by reading, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey. Play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, Miss Deo Danis. All right. This is for everyone. Esto es para todos, okay? Porque más de alguno también va a salir que me va a decir saucer. Y es soccer. Soccer, all right? Eh, bike riding. Riding de montar, okay? Si usted me dice reading, es como bicicleta leyendo. Makes no sense the translation. No tiene sentido la traducción. Me despiden rapidito si hago ese tipo de traducciones, okay? So you need to be highly carefully. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe la interrupción. Fíjese que quizá un poco tarde la consulta, pero porque ese tema ya ratos lo pasamos, pero ahorita lo acaba de mencionar usted. 
con eso de, de cuando usted va en la bicicleta es eh, right ¿eh? yes ajá y si va en el caballo también es right uh -huh. si va en la moto también es right yes y si va en una silla de ruedas no ahí sí es going on a wheelchair going on on uh -huh. Y depende sí, porque... de la acción que está haciendo en ese momento. Uh -huh. Porque usualmente decimos, she's on a wheelchair. Ella sí. está en una silla de ruedas. O él está en sí, una pero, silla de ruedas. Pero si se está moviendo o si se va moviendo. She's moving on a wheelchair. Ok. Uh -huh. bueno. pues, no hay eh, un verbo, ¿verdad? Indica así como... No, no hay uno que indique directamente, Miguel. All right? Puede variar Discul dependiendo del contexto. Sí, disculpe la pregunta, es que como yo llevo a mi mamá en cita de ruedas, por eso le pregunto. Uh -huh. All right, no, está bien, está excelente. Eh, de hecho, ¿sabían ustedes que aprender eh, vocabulario médico? Pues, o sea, de primero cuidado, en Estados Unidos es súper valioso para trabajar, inclusive remotamente. Sí. Right? Sí, There's people correcto. who earn 40 per hour. Hay gente que gana 40 por hora. Imagine, just to be sí. a translator. Si sabe y me puede recomendar, teacher. Ahí vamos. Of course, I'll let you know, claro. Half, half, half and a half. <laughs> no, 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 all right, don't even mention it. Okay, Thank no, you for the mention. No, don't worry, there you go. Ahora bien, si ¿sí algo que, que quería mencionarle antes de lo que mencionó Miguel, que era? Uh, bike riding. Ah, se me olvidó. Pero de seguro ya me dan cuenta. Ah, no, sobre lo que dijo Miguel, que ya lo habíamos visto este tema hace mucho tiempo. No, Miguel, lo vimos el viernes. All right. Y ya casi para terminar, 10 minutos antes de terminar. So, don't worry. Vaya, sí, gracias. Hace poquito lo vimos. Don't worry. Let's go to the next one. Para que vea que sí me fijo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, right? Let me listen to Andrea. Andrea, can you please read sentence number one and number two? In the spring, Mary plays soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in number two. In summer, in, in summer, my parents go swimming. Excellent. Thank you. And number three and four, Alison Juarez, please. In the four, Matias goes by readings. In the winter, I play basketball. Perfect. Excellent. Ahora bien, a mí ya me falla la memoria. So let me, let me ask you. Así que les pregunto, right? Eh, ¿Ya hicimos esta practice? No. Uf, ok, perfect. Siento que con ustedes vamos bien rápido en algunos temas. Yet. Déjenme ver cuántos son. Sí, pues sí, con two basta. All right, let, let me listen to Guadalupe. Can you please help me with the instructions? Okay, <laughs> practice time. Number one, work individually. Number two, create at least, at least two sentences with the vocabulary learned. Number three, compare your sentences with the class. Perfect, thank you, all right? So based on right. this one, basado en este vocabulario, vamos a crear dos sentences. Teacher, pero no nos ha dado estructura. Bueno, no hay a dónde perderse. El único tema que hemos visto es simple present y seguimos con el simple present. Lo bonito de este nivel en el que ustedes están es que debas de adquirir bastante vocabulario, más que nivel gramatical, right? Entonces, con el vocabulario es más fácil trabajar. So here we go. Let's start working, please. Voy a dejarles los examples aquí.
Okay, so I think some of you have finished already. Okay, thank you, Audrey, for letting me know. Let's check the rest of the people over there. <clears throat> Let's see. I think some of you already finished, right? So let's get started. Let's just start with Oscar. Tell me, Oscar, what you got? In the fall, I go hiking with friends to any, to any mountain. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you, Oscar. Let's In go. In the summer. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. No action. Continue, please. Oh, it is summer. In the summer, my sister goes swimming to the river. Mm -hmm. Goes swimming to the river. Yes, that's correct. Thank you so much, Oscar. Thank you. And sorry for interrupting you. Disculpe porque lo interrumpí, right? Let me go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente o el siguiente. Jancy de Odanes. Let me listen to you. In the summer, my family go swimming. Mm -hmm. uh, in the fall, Jose plays football. Very good. That's correct. Thank you. Let's listen to Guadalupe, please. <clears throat> In the fall, I go bike riding. In the spring, my brother plays volleyball. All right, very good, excellent, thank you. Let me listen to Alison Juarez. In the fall, Paola plays soccer. In the spring, Lara plays basketball. Very good, thank you, that's correct. Let me listen to Miguel, please. I boy teacher, I boy teacher. Uh, in the winter, Canadian people practice uh, winter sport, winter sports. Uh, maybe the American people practice uh, American football all the time. Uh, football, let me check. ¿Cómo le dicen aquí? Vamos a ver, aquí está. Uh, play. Por aquí está, aquí está, play football. Play football. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, maybe the American people practice football all the time. In your second sentence? In the winter, Canadian people Canadian people practice winter sports. Es que no me acordaba de los otros. All right, don't worry. Ah, ya vio que no tomo notas. There you go, I noticed that. No, si yo siempre lo estoy viendo, que no toman nota, ya lo vi. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry, Miguel. Thank you so much for your participation. Que creo que de hecho se desconectó. All right, ya no lo veo. <coughs> Quizás se le fue la señal. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Mayra. Mayra, let me listen to you. Hola. Ah, sí, le escuchamos. Escuchamos sus ejemplos. My son plays soccer every Saturday. Mm -hmm. eh, in, in the sister law, play baseball. Play baseball, baseball, right? Ok, very good. Sí, es que me dejó con la duda si iba a seguir con la oración o solo sí. eso. Thank you. ¿Qué le iba a agregar? Mm -hmm. Pero después ya no. <risa> Pero después me arrepentí. Okay, me dejó la palabra. Ok, don't worry, it's ok. Recuerden que pueden agregarle a qué horas lo practican. Por ejemplo, my sister Tammy plays soccer every day at 4 p.m. All right? O sea, sí podemos irle agregando cositas que hagan ver bonita la oración. Ok. Thank you, Mayra. Let's go with Andrea. Por ahí vi a Andy que quería participar. Ok. In the fall, Sarah and her friends play football in the municipal stadium. In the summer, my family and I play volleyball in the park. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Andy. Let's go with Paula. Okay. 
In spring, my boyfriend goes for a walk. In summer, my mother plays baseball. I plays baseball, very good. Let's listen to Victor, please. Victor, Victor, are you there? Okay, maybe we don't have it. Let's go with Christian Peñate, please. Um, in the get hot in the summer, uh, spring is the season of new beginnings. Okay. You? In the next one? La, la siguiente, Christian? Son dos. Ah, uh, sí, dije dos. Eh, la primera es in the gets hot in the summer. Eh, la segunda es spring. Spring is the season of new beginning. Uh, all right. Sí, utilizó las, los, ¿cómo se dicen? Seasons. Pero no utilizó el vocabulary. Yo lo que quería ver eran las actions que hacen en ese tiempo. Okay. So, well, it's okay. Don't worry. I hope you got it, how to work it. That's what matters. What about um, Jose? I don't know, Jose, if you just come in into the... Uh. All right. Bueno, Jose, intentemos. We don't have Jose? Okay. Let's move on then. Now, my dear students, let's pass to this to this conversation. I'm gonna share it with you from the platform. Just let me stretch for it. Miren, a manera de consejo, ya casi terminamos el 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 ciclo. Les iba a decir, ya estoy traumada con la U. Este, ya casi terminan el curso. A este nivel tienen que, uno, seguir instrucciones, saber seguir instrucciones cuando se les da. Dos, prestar atención, all right, porque ya no son niños, son adultos. And three, especially overall, si usted tiene dudas o consultas, pregunte. Yo, yo creo que como teacher no les he dado la oportunidad de que no me pregunten. Es más, siempre les digo y les reitero, tienen alguna pregunta, consulta, all right. I haven't failed on that. Yo no he fallado en eso. But if you don't ask me, pero si ustedes no me preguntan, I cannot waste my time. So, I beg you, please, this week, les pido por favor, sé que están cansados, I know that, lo conozco, sé que están cansados, pero please, una semana más y luego se van a como dos semanas de vacation, creo. Right, so, you need to take advantage of this right now. Let's pay attention to sports and season's vocabulary. We have the conversation over here. Well, no, the conversation is not in here. It's in the second one. Okay, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. 
the goal of using W is quite... Okay, we just needed to watch the video for the pronunciation. The rest, I have it on the power, so don't worry. <clears throat> Let's go with this wonderful conversation. Simple present WH questions and conversation, I love sports. We have Lauren and Justin. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? <clears throat> mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. <laughs> I guess it. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. All right, there you go. Listening, that's why highly important. Por eso es súper importante prestar la atención al listening y al verbo que las personas están utilizando, right? Because he says, she asked for likes, all right? Ella preguntó cosas, deportes que le gustan, right? Él nunca dijo que los practicaba. So, there you go. Let me listen to Oscar Otoniel. You are Justin, Alison Juarez. You are a Lauren. Solo déjenme ver si Alison no me puso aquí que no iba a poder participar. No, no era Alison. Okay, action, Alison. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you you are a really good athlete. When do you play a that sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Perfect, excellent, good rhythm, Miss Juarez. That was great. Thank you so much, Oscar. As per se, you never fail. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let me have Andrea Flores. You are Lauren. Miguel, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good at least. When do you play all these sports? Uh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> Very good, excellent, fabulous, marvelous. Very good, great job. Good pronunciation, good rhythm, and sympathy. That was great. Let's go with the next pair. Let me have Jancy de Odanes. You are Lauren. And let me check Guadalupe. You are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball. And soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good. Pretty honest, right? Thank you, both of you, Miss Deodanes, and thank you, Guadalupe. That's great. Let's go with Mayra. Mayra, you are Lauren. Paula, Isabel, you are just in action. So, Josie, what, what do you do in your free time? Free time. Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer. I my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you do play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. That was great. All right. We just need to work on the 
happiness that we show up for, right? Tratemos de trabajar un poquito en, en, el, en el, ¿cómo se dice? En la, no es la pronunciation, es la entonación que le damos, right? Si sonamos como que estamos dormidos, no estamos haciendo ningún esfuerzo. Wow, you're not really good athlete, right? That's not even normal to speak like that. So we need to take care of that because we need to enhance our pronunciation, all right? We need to improve our voice tone, our tone voice, all right? So just keep those advices in mind, please. And let's go with the next one. Let me have, do we have Victor? Victor, are you able to participate? Veamos si ya le funciona el micrófono, Victor, o tal vez la señal. <clears throat> no. Okay, porque me hace falta Christian. So let me check who else am I missing. Jose? Okay, Jose. You are Lauren. Usted va a ser Lauren y Christian va a ser Justin. Action. All right. Pero tiene interferencia, José, porque no se le escucha. Se escucha como cortado. I love the word. Well, I love the word. Okay. Don't worry, José. Maybe you can fix that and then you can participate later on. All right. Veamos que será tal vez la señal. All right. So you can participate. A ver, hable, José. No, no se le nada. I'm sorry about that. No se preocupe, va a pasar después en alguna participación. Yes, ya le funciona. All right. Eh, let me have Christian. Christian, I'm going to work with you. Yo voy a trabajar con usted, entonces. Eh, I'm Lauren, you are Justin, okay? So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Uh, well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Uh, um, hockey, basketball, uh, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I do not play these sports. I just watch them on TV, television. All right, excellent. Thank you. So, aquí, Christian, this is baseball, no basketball, right? Baseball. There you go. Now, everyone, okay. thank you so much for participating. Let's move on to the following. Simple present WH questions. We have, of course, the questions and the answers. So what sports do you play? I play soccer, I'm not, perdón. I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Let me have Andrea. Andrea, you ask. And Guadalupe, you answer. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. All right, uh, repita Andrea, what? baseball. Baseball. Yes, continue. Baseball. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Thank you so much, both of you. Let's go with the next one. Jancy de Odanes and Miguel. Miguel, you ask. Jancy, you answer. Action. 
Simple, simple present WH question. What sport do you play? I, I play hockey and basketball. basketball. Baseball, pardon. Who, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends for, from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or three a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Thank you, both of you. Let's go with Oscar. You ask in Christian, you answer action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Ay, 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 baseball. Baseball, okay. Who do you play baseball with? I I play with some friends for, for work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Honda Park. How often do you practice? We practice on or twice a weekend. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Repeat, Christian, once or twice. Once or twice. Excellent. Thank you. Let me have, let me have Paula Isabel. You ask and ya le digo quien más. <coughs> Alison Juarez, no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No. Ok, usted contesta. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Thank you, girls. That was correct. Bye. Como manera de ayuda, cuando usted pregunta how often, se refiere a la constancia con la que practica el deporte. When is el día específico, all right? So just take into consideration that information so that you can use it. Now, let me have Mayra. Mayra, eh, let me check, let me check. Okay, Mayra, I'm going to ask you answer. Yo pregunto, usted contesta. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from where we have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice on one or twice a week. Repeat once, once or twice, once or twice. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much. Very good. <laughs> Solo quiero eh, comentarles algo, right? I've, he visto que a veces eh, Ponen, ponen, no ponen ustedes, porque yo nunca lo puse. En el grupo eh, que no les deja entrar a la plataforma o que no los dejan entrar. 
Ahí quiero comentarles que yo no tengo acceso para quién dejar entrar y a quién no. Si no les deja entrar es la plataforma, puede ser por su internet, puede ser por la mala señal, right? Those things happen, esas cosas suceden. Ahora bien, que nunca se hayan conectado en toda la clase, ahí sí es un problema, ya no es la señal, ya no es nada. Okay, we got a problem. And we got to check it out. What is that? Pero sí, quiero dejar bien claro que no soy yo la que no los deja entrar. ¿Ok? Y esto que quede en recording, yo no tengo permiso ni acceso para dejar entrar a alguien o no. Yo de hecho estoy como alguien como ustedes, right? Yo tengo mi, el, el link que a ustedes mismos les proveyeron. And that's what we work with. All right? Y con eso trabajamos. And that's it. Now, let's move on to the next one. Guiding structure. It's highly important for you to learn how to handle the structures. Es muy importante que ustedes aprendan cómo manejar las estructuras. Okay? So we have... <coughs> Miguel, can you help me reading the structure, please? Okay, teacher. Guiding structure. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb mask class complement class um, question mark exactly question mark that's correct everyone let's copy this structure on our notebooks please esta es la estructura de wh questions in simple present okay lo que veíamos aquí simple present wh questions Okay, I think you might have finished. Let's move on to the next one. Guiding examples. Let me have Guadalupe, please. Example number one and example number two. Guiding example. Number one, what is for those Eunice play? Number two, who do you play tennis with? Excellent, thank you. Andrea, number three and four. Where do, does he play? How often do they practice? Excellent, thank you. All right, based on these examples, what you're going to do is that you are going to create two WH questions, right? Dos preguntas en WH, yes or no, okay? Porque estas son, no, estas no son yes or no, estas son WH. 
Ok, so let's create it, please. Creémosla basado en estos ejemplos y utilizando esta estructura. Ahora bien, solo les voy a dar un adelanto. Ahorita no me utilicen who y with porque esta otra estructura que ya vamos a ver. Ahorita procuremos no utilizar esta, la número dos, vaya, para hacerlo más sencillo. No utilicen la número dos, sino que utilicen todas las demás para congeniar con esta estructura que tienen. Ok, so let's start working on it, please. Okay, have you finished? Only two questions. Okay, I feel that you already finished. So let's get started. Let me listen to Oscar, please. Action. Okay. Where does your brother swim? In? Where does your brother swim? Swing, yeah. How often do you play tennis? All right, very good, excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Jancy Deodanis and after Jancy Paula, Action Deodanis. Your microphone, Jancy. Teacher, I won't terminado. Okay, don't worry, no se preocupe, entonces vamos con Paula. Bueno, gracias. Hi, Isabel, are you there? Tampoco he terminado. Ok, no worry. Ya ven, yo por eso les pregunto quiénes ya finalizaron, pero siempre me dejan en visto. Que, all right, nunca me contestan. And I don't get it, why? Porque no me dicen, yo les puedo dar más tiempo. Y es más, si necesitan ayuda, yo les puedo ayudar. 
Thank you, Paula. Let's check another one. Vamos a ver quién más. Ok, very good, Paulita. Let me listen to Miguel. Ok, teacher. Uh, estoy aquí dudando un poco, pero bueno. Eh, what, uh, what sport do New Zealand people play? New Zealand people? Sí, o sea, no tienen ellos un... por ellos, ¿verdad? Ajá, no tienen ellos, así como nosotros salvadoreños, sí. o de nationality. Sí, se me ocurrió, pero este, estaba pensando con el auxiliar por el do. Si es do o das, pero do, ¿verdad? Porque sería en eso. Puedo sustituir tú por ellos. Sí. About what sport do New Zealand people play? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, another, how often do they practice basketball? Okay, that's correct. Perfect. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with the next one, Guadalupe. And after Guadalupe, Mayra. How often do my sister and my brother go hiking? And where does she play? Where does she play? Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Guadalupe. Very good. Let's listen to Mayra, please. What is for do is Harry play. Uh, where do you where do you practice every day? Where do you practice every day? Very good, Mayra. Excellent. Let's listen to Andrea. After Andrea, Alison Juarez. When does she play soccer with the team? Uh -huh. What time do you play golf in the club? All right, very good, excellent, Andy, correct. Action, Alison, after Alison Christian. When does she play soccer in the park? Mm -hmm. Where do you play baseball? Where do you play, when do you play baseball? Yes, it's correct. Thank you, Miss Juarez. Action, Christian. Uh, what do you do after school? Mm -hmm. uh, where does your best friend like? All right, live. Yes, very good. Thank uh, you. Yes. <laughs> yes. And now let's check Paula. Okay, where does my brother go for a walk? For a walk. Walk. And no, walk, no, walk. Walk. Sin la L, walk. Right? Where does my brother go for a walk? Exactly, perfect. And what sport does my brother play? Yes, perfect, Isabel. Thank you. Now, Miss Deodanes, have you finished? Yes, me. Mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, what food does Hase cook the Sunday? And where does Susie play? All right, simple as that. Excellent, thank you, all of you. Let's move on to the next one. Guiding a structure. Esta estructura es diferente. Le vamos a poner who with, all right? Porque, o sea, esta es para utilizar directamente el with, con quién, all right? So, we start with who, y que le sigue, vamos a pedirle a Oscar que nos lea la structure, please. Give instructions a structure, who or with. Who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with. Very good, y aquí nos hizo falta algo, Oscar. Period and question. Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone, mm -hmm. let's copy this on your notebooks, please.
Okay, you might have finished. Let's check it out the examples. Miguel, can you help me please with example number one, please? Guiding examples. Number one, who does Martin play basketball with? Thank you. Uh, Alison Juarez, example number two and three. Who do you practice with? With whom does Juan play? Excellent, thank you. Listen up. Bye, let's explain algo. Teacher, pero en la estructura que usted acaba de dar no puso la última que tiene aquí, with whom. Es exactamente lo mismo, right? Solo que usted decide si quiere utilizar with whom o iniciar con who y terminar con with, right? It's exactly the same. No afecta al producto, es lo mismo. Usualmente esto se escucha más que todo en posiciones formales, right? Eh, de hecho, English people use it very, very frequently. Más que todos los ingleses utiliza el, utilizan el with whom, all right? With whom have you been talking? With whom have you eh, it be, with whom have you been eating soda or drinking soda? All right. Ellos utilizan, suelen utilizar más el with whom. Pero tienen que aprenderlo porque van a escuchar más de una persona eh, Native American que hable con with whom. Okay. So these are the examples that you have over here. Son los ejemplos que tenemos. Now, my dear students, for tomorrow, mañana, vamos a continuar trabajando con el practice time y también vamos a iniciar con la pronunciación de can and can't, all right? Can and can't for ability. Now, my dear students, without further ado, thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure to see you. Take a rest. Uh, I hope you dream well. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.